here with Mr. Mixup. Did you have fun, Mr. Mixup, mixing all those colors? Oh yeah. Did you have fun making, what were the primary colors again? Um, red, that's right. Um, orange, no, 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 Mr. Mixup. That's a secondary color. The primary colors were the three colors that we used to mix. Do you remember? Maybe you can remind him. That's right, red, yellow, and blue. That's right. Now we're gonna do another little project with our colors. We're going to be making some marble special paper. We've made it before at school and you usually have fun doing it. Remember when we use the shaving cream and the colors and we swirl it up, we press our paper and scrape it off and we're left with some very beautiful pictures, some paper. Should we give it a try? Let's see if the colors mix when we swirl them up. All right, let's give it a shot. So for this, you're gonna need, you can use either paints or food coloring if you have food coloring and you wanna try that. I'm gonna use the paints today. So I have shaving cream and I have a pan. I don't need too much because I'm only making a little bit. I'm gonna shake up my shaving cream. Shake, 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 shake. Now I'm gonna put a little layer of shaving cream right, oh, see how it's filled up the pan? Very nice. I am going to, now that I have my shaving cream on my pan, I'm gonna pick some colors to put on there. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of orange, maybe a few drips. You might wanna try all the colors. I think maybe some blue. Those are kind of orange and blue. Those are Greeley colors. That's the high school. See a lot of that in town. Let's add some purple. I like purple, do you? Some purple. And, hmm, how about some green? Let's see, some green. A few drips of green. Do you think we're ready to mix? So I'm gonna be using to swirl it around, just a toothpick, but you could use a fork, you could use your finger. I'm going to swirl it, swirl it, and mix it around. Move it all over. I wanna swirl it, maybe make some cool designs back and forth. I think that's about that's about enough. I might add a little, I think I, I do want to add a little red, I think. I'm gonna add a little red here. Hope this gets it to be very nice and colorful. So I'm gonna add some red. Maybe swirl it up. Okay. Now we're ready to do our printing. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I have a plain piece of paper. Actually, I have two because I think I might make more than one. And I have a little board here that is going to be where I, oops, where I scrape it off. So I'm going to take my paper, put it right on top, and gently pat, pat, pat. I'm going to pat until I feel like you've done this before, I know. I'm gonna peel it up. I think it's all covered. I'm gonna peel it up. I'm gonna lay it flat. And then I have this is a protract protractor, but I you could use um, you could use um, a ruler, and we're gonna scrape off. And scrape off the shaving cream. Let's do that. 
do one more time. Now we're left with pretty marble paper. I think I'm gonna make one more. Let's see. Let's see if it looks any different. Really press it in there. You guys really like doing this at school. And so I figured you could show your parents how to do it. Scraping it off and scraping it off. Now, I have two sheets of rainbow paper. So I hope you have fun, get dirty, make a mess, and help clean it up. And I hope you enjoy making, showing your family how to make our special rainbow paper using shaving cream. If you don't have shaving cream, you could also use some whipped cream or Cool Whip, if you know what that is, <laughs> and uh, have a good time. I had some shaving cream. You can now, maybe you want to play with the shaving cream now. It's kind of a fun thing to do. Sometimes we put it in the sensory bin and you got to get to put your hands in there. You might want to do that too. Have fun and I'll see you soon.